it we're back it has been an hour and 15 minutes that the 100 watt bulb here is been lit and so we get a temperature reading on it ah! okay there, ooh, 220 Get, as I get like get up in the center here more, it's a little better. 240, almost two, almost 250, give or take. Well, how about that? That thing's a little warm, isn't it? What can we do with that? Voltage. Still about the same. That's gone down a little bit, a few tenths of a volt. That's interesting. I wonder if isn't, there isn't some galvanic reaction going on out there with that copper rod. I guess we'll find out. Anyway, uh, on the, uh, still zero amps, still zero watts, volt amps, power factor one, 60 hertz, no kilowatt hour usage for the time span of one hour and 16 minutes. Coming from ground. There's that ground rod. See that? See those sparks? You hear the MOT humming when I touch it on there. So now I'm going to try to fire some other things and uh, see what we can do with this energy. Okay, we're back. Hey, you didn't have to wait very long, did you? Changed it up a bit, took the bulbs out. Uh, I tried a CFL bulb. That wouldn't work, but I think it was because my fixture was short now. I couldn't quite tell what was going on. But anyway, so now I've taken uh, the capacitor, and yeah, we ran it through this little here. It's like a little 10 wrap coil came off the Slayer. Uh, ran it through my handheld amp meter. Uh, you can see the focus. Yep. It's, it's uh, two and a half amps, huh? Well, now it's going down because because this thing just kind of balanced and sped up. Look at that. This, this motor is just running in series with this coil, which, because I can't really detect any amperage on the, on the wire by itself. I'll have to put it on both of them. Put it on one, I don't get it's little tiny fluctuations. Put it on another one, the other one. Same deal, just the slight bumps here. But when I actually put it on this 10 wrap coil, it's able to register two amps, so it's still going down. We have the different scale here. That's the lowest scale for amps this thing has. It's reading about two. I'll put it on over here, put seam aiming. Of course, I don't know if I can really do that. I'll put it here. Not seeing anything. I put it here. Not seeing anything. So we're definitely not seeing two amps, are we? No, from the hot, straight from the neutral, neither one. Put it over here on the ground wire. And we do see the pulses. Very light pulses. Uh, so it's it's somehow this must be acting like a, a transformer here and allow me to read higher amperage. So it's probably not even two amps, it's probably that, I don't know, a quarter of an amp that you saw. But we sure is spinning that thing rather well. Let me take this off and show you. I'm going to hook this lead, this is the MOT ground coming back on. I'll hook it back up and there she goes. It runs that one up there too, but this one seems to have require less voltage. Um, more resistance, or at least the more inductance, seems to draw more current from this thing because I wasn't reading barely any with that little fan. Voltage goes down as either resistance or inductive resistance goes up, it appears. <laughs> 